Good morning and welcome back. My name's Mike Warren and you've tuned in to a Zento sales snippet for Monday morning. Firstly, thank you. I appreciate your feedback from last week. We had some great feedback saying, hey, you're on the right track. Please keep it going. So you're here today because I want three minutes of your time and we're going to talk about PT at point of sale. First step, let's define what PT is. Not necessarily personal training, professional training, private training. We're going to talk professional tuition. Any professional tuition sold at point of sale to help your new member kickstart their journey the right way is under the banner of PT. We need to be a little bit wary of those two words, PT, because some new members come into our centres with a bit of a mindset about what is PT. Maybe a negative experience, maybe a media representation of PT. If we mention PT too early in the sales process, they may switch off and not want to move forward. Next, we need to be absolutely 100% passionate and convinced that your new member needs to start with professional tuition to kickstart their journey and get the results. So if you move forward knowing that PT is the integral key ingredient for your new member success, and we follow the process, we are guaranteed that somewhere between 20 to 50% of your new members will say yes to PT at point of sale. Now, there's three steps. The first step is to package it up. 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 45 minute sessions, what are they? Five pack, 10 pack, single pack. We've got to look at packaging it up so you know what you're selling. Second step is to price it. Now there's a lot of different pricing options. My firm belief, and this is from doing this with hundreds and hundreds of centers, is package your personal training into your memberships. Don't sell a five pack. We used to sell three month memberships, we don't sell them anymore because we realize that's a short term commitment. If you sell a five pack, that's a short term commitment. Package your PT in with the membership on a weekly, monthly, twice weekly, bi-monthly basis for the duration of the membership and it'll be much more successful and it sends a long term message to your new member. The third step is to present it. We can't just write prices down like we do with some memberships because to present PT at point of sale, we need to have a more professional approach. By far the most successful approach at the moment in the industry is a portfolio style, professionally printed flip chart style with pricing options, lots of pictures, lots of color, and that gives the new member a clear understanding and a clear visual representation of what your PT is involved in what's included. So firstly, package it up. Secondly, price it properly. Thirdly, present it to all new members. Now, that's not the end. There's five areas that we can promote personal training. The first area is that point of attraction. That means out there, before they walk in the door, we need to talk about the support service that is PT. Education, guidance, motivation, accountability, nutritional advice, that's personal training. We need to make sure the customer, before they walk in the door, has an understanding that we offer it. So when they walk in, they are looking for that ongoing support. First step is in the attraction process. Then in the conversion process, that's the sales area. We need to have a regimented, strict system where every new member is exposed to PT. My recommendation is on your inquiry card or your inquiry document, there is at least three questions that discover your prospective member's interest in personal training. So put some questions there to get them thinking about personal training so that when you ask them the question, their mind is halfway there. Attraction, conversion, then induction. That's where the trainers get to sit down with a new member who may have said, oh, I'm not interested in PT, and they get to have a second bite of the cherry. Now, we know that if a trainer does this well, there's an extra 5 or 10% of new members who initially said no to the sales staff who will say yes to a professional. If your trainers don't want to do that, get rid of them. This is their revenue. This is their business. So there needs to be some questions written into the appraisal process that discover a secondary opportunity for that professional tuition moving forward. 
The third step is during retention. Now that could be the reappraisal process. Three months down the track when the member is struggling to get results, when they're not turning up as often, we need to talk PT and talk about the support services. So when we're retaining members, PT is an integral part of that process. And the last step is during the participation process. That's on the training floor. When we're talking to members on the training floor, we need to discover opportunities to promote personal training. Point of attraction, point of conversion, point of induction, point of retention, point of participation on the gym floor. Five areas, three keys, take it for the week, enjoy. I'll see you back here next Monday for another Zento Sales Snippet. Have an awesome week. Cheers.